Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Okay, so let's just continue. Okay, so let's put again your answer. For number one, your answer here is this one. For number two, this book which I started reading it. Okay, there's no it here. Number three, Jean, who is her mother. Jean, who's mother. For number four, this one. Number five, this one. Okay, please read again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you say it again? Okay, can you please read one to five? Okay. This the boy who sits next to me is in a flag is called Vladimir. Number two. Number two is mm -hmm. wait. Number two is this book, which I started in last week, is uh, reading last week. It's very funny. And how about number three? Okay. Mm -hmm. Jean, who her mother is a whose mother is a nurse want to be a doctor okay how about number four number four mm -hmm. is my mom number and dad four, my mom and dad who they got married uh, they got married 50 years ago, met over 30 years ago. Number five. Number five is the genes who was telling you about them are over here. Okay, very good. So these are the correct answers. Good job. Next, let's proceed for letter C. We write as one sentence using a relative clause. So here is an example. There's already answer in number one. My grandfather, who is 65 years old now, was an airline pilot. So that's the correct answer. Then how about for number two? Friendly people is a comedy. It's my favorite program. So what do you think is your answer for number two? Can you rewrite okay. your answer? Can you write your answer here? Can you put your answer here on my screen? Oh, uh, I cannot. Okay, okay. Okay, you cannot write. Can. Okay, okay. Okay, now, now I can. Okay, very good. Okay, do you have your answer now? Wait, I need to write. Yes, Baba. All right. Friendly, which is my favorite program, is a comedy, correct? Very good. Let's proceed now for number three. My friend Michael often comes to play with me. He hasn't got any brother and sisters.
All right. My friend Michael, who hasn't got any brothers and sisters, often comes to play with me. Very good. That's correct. How about for number four? My sister loves wearing hats. Her hair is brown. My sister, who has brown hair, loves wearing hats. Very good. How about for number five? Okay, that's correct. So for number five, New York, where I was born, is an enormous city. How about for number six? For number six, this city which I only bought it yesterday. All right, that's correct. How about for number seven? My brother George has got some great shirts. He hates me borrowing his clothes. So the exact answer for that is... Okay, number seven. My brother George, who hate me borrow his clothes, has some great shirts. Very good. So this time, please read before we can proceed for number eight. Can you please read number one? Okay. My grandfather. Okay. Yes, can you please read? Okay. Number three is uh, wait. Number three is my friend. Oh wait, number one. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you say it again? For number one, this one which I put it an arrow. Can you please read? Okay. Is my, my grandfather, grandfather who is sixty five years old now was an uh, uh, prey. Number two. For number two, friendly. Okay. Can you read number two? Number okay. two, friendly. Which is my favorite program. It's a comedy. Very good. Number three, my friend. My friend. Mm -hmm. Michael, who doesn't all got any brothers and sisters, often comes to play with me. Correct. Number four. Okay. My sister who has brown hair loves wearing hats. How about for number five? New York, where I was born, is an enormous city. Very good. Number six? The city which I only bought it yesterday. Okay, how about for number seven? 
My brother George has got some great shirts. He, he hates me wearing his clothes. Very good. Very well said. Perfect score for that. Next, let's proceed for number eight. So can you put your answer on number eight? Okay. Okay. Number eight is... Our neighbors had wait. Our mm -hmm. neighbors who which the house is directly opposite ours have never invited us to dinner. Okay, please put your answer here on the blank. Please write your answer. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay, can you right. say it again? All right, please put your answer here on the blank. Okay, wait. Okay. All right. All right. All right. That's it. So your answer again for number eight, our neighbors, which house is directly opposite ours, have never invited us to dinner. Okay. That's great. Very good. Next one is letter D. So I think, let me see first. All right. So let's skip this one because we can't see this part. I think there's an erasure here, all right? So let's skip for letter D and then let's proceed for letter E instead, okay? So the instruction for letter E, take the sentences in exercise D where the relative pronoun can be replaced by the word that. And then you're going to put a cross or X where the cannot replace the relative pronoun or where the cannot replace the relative pronoun. So that's for letter E. So this time, let's move on for number one. So do you know how to answer this one? Yes. Okay, very good. But I think, wait a minute. Oh, I think this is a continuation for letter D, right? Right. Mm -hmm. yes, this is the continuation. So let's just skip this one because we did not answer for letter D. There's an erasure. I mean, there's an empty here, this part, erasure, right? So we're going to skip also that one, letter D and letter E. And then this time is, right, letter F. Is that okay with you? Yes? Can you hear me? Okay. okay. All right, but before letter F, I just want to, um, I just wanted to say something about the picture number one, okay? Just like okay. a recap only, okay? Or summarize for letter D and letter E. 
Okay, I want you to tell something instead because we cannot answer this one for letter D and letter E. Okay, so I want you to tell something about the picture. What can you see about the picture? The picture is all about? I think it's a... Uh... Uh, there is uh, two trees and a uh, dead tree. Okay, very good. Good observation. So about la, I mean, number two picture. Yes, for number two. Okay. Are there is uh two, two of the empty bottle and one full bottle. Okay. So in this picture, we can see that the battle starts with the uh, sizes, right? Size this one small. I mean, this is the smallest, right? This is the smallest, and then this one is like a bigger. This one is the biggest, right? Okay. Okay. So thank you so much. I think that's all for tonight, and then see you again. Job well done for tonight. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Okay, see you again.